We're out here getting some range time today. Nick and I have archery mule deer hunts in January. And uh, bows are already tuned in. We're just starting to get some reps in. And uh, become some big muley guys. We are finally to my hunt of the year, um, a January deer hunt here in southern New Mexico. Um, me and Cody made our camp last night about 8 30, 9 o'clock, um, and now we're gonna get ready to go scout some big bucks. Look, yeah. Watch out the truck. <laughs> so, me and Cody. Uh, first morning of uh, deer scouting and we found a doe over here on this kind of mesa looking hill with the rock bluffs. Um, she's probably what 900 yards away? Yeah. So uh, we're gonna keep glassing. Um, saw some tracks this morning. We're ready to hunt deer tomorrow and cougar. We got a cougar tag. Cody are starting to move hills um, right now because we haven't really seen anything other than that one doe. Um, we found a really good glassing hill probably tomorrow morning. Um, and right now we're going to move hills, go straight across. There's a lot of wind today, um, so maybe the deer are bedded and we just got to look a little harder. On a couple does and I think a single buck that we found. Just want to size them up. It's still the day before the hunt, so it'd be nice to check out some other areas. But if there's a big buck in the area, we might as well start here tomorrow. What are we up to right now, Cody? Uh, well, Nick spotted some bucks over there, or buck and some does. So we're watching them right now and getting some Nat Geo footage. Well, we've been glassing this buck for quite a while now and he's definitely showing signs of uh, being in rut. He's uh, definitely smelling his does and kind of keeping them all grouped up. And then uh, we stayed a little bit longer because it was cool to watch it. And so it's, it's about to be dark probably here in about an hour, maybe 30 minutes. Um, but we'll head back to camp and we'll start off our uh, day in this area tomorrow and hope to get some spot and stocks going. So me and Cody, uh, opening morning, we're working over to get on this ridge um, to be able to glass um, that buck that we got on yesterday. Um, just scouting, so let's see if we can get it done. So just put a stock on that buck, um, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but I thought they popped over a ridge and I figured they'd keep going. Um, they ended up actually 
bedding on the ridge that I was coming over. And I played it slow, but when I didn't see them initially, I kept moving and then they stood up at 110 yards. Um, I couldn't get a, any closer or another range on the buck. Um, the buck was a little bit further than the does. Um, I ranged a doe at, at 100, um, and then that buck had to have been at like 110. But we'll see if we can't get another one spotted and put another stock on today. Well, Nick spotted up a buck from earlier off this other road we were on, and now we uh, came over to the main road and spotted him off the main road too. So Nick is either gonna go off the main road and walk over there, or we're gonna try to find another road and get closer to that buck. Start of day three, um, last night I actually was able to bed some deer down on this mountain behind me. Pretty happy with the hunt so far. I, I really made some mistakes yesterday shooting the wind. Uh, right now, obviously, it's a little bit more calm. Um, this is the kind of weather we're looking for. I was really glad to be able to get it within 70 yards of that buck yesterday and that group that I snuck up on. So, uh, looking forward to whatever today brings found a lot of bucks on this hill. Um, they stayed in the area last night. Um, so I'm gonna see if there's anything south of me and then if not, I might make a move on a small group um, south of a tank up here. So I just put on a stock on a buck over here. Um, um, another group of hunters actually came down uh, lower and uh, kind of pushed the buck out of the draw. So I didn't get any closer, but it happens. Um, but I'm gonna head back to Crucis. Um, that closes my first week in hunting. I had a blast, um, a lot of opportunities, a lot of bucks. We're stalking some bucks this morning on that same hill that we uh, bedded them down last night. Me and Cody are gonna get hopefully within 50, 60 yards of them. We're kind of playing it slow, waiting for these thermals to settle. We went after those does <clears throat> that we thought that big buck was in, and uh, I don't know where they went. We just kind of lost them. I don't know if they beat us over the hill or went over the saddle. Still bedded there or what, but uh, they just disappeared on us. So we spotted the other bucks that we were on last weekend again, and uh, there's about six bucks in there, two spikes, two shooters, and then kind of medium sized buck so we're gonna go after that big buck in there and uh, let's see if we can get it done on these guys
redrew on this buck at 92 yards um, and there was a doe right below him and I realized kind of right before I wanted to shoot um, my peep sight was actually twisted um, and so I kind of told myself not to shoot so I ended up actually just watching these deer uh, eventually crest this hill and take off and bust out of there Um, we've been getting on deer. We've been seeing a lot of deer. I didn't know when the next opportunity was going to happen, um, but we just kept fighting uh, for one more shot at these bucks. Dude, he's big. <laughs> What's up, Nick? I got what? Shane and my grandpa's here. Look, I just shot a deer. Okay. He's an eight point. Eight point. I hey. smoked him. He was a little far back. He's dead. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I just harvested my first uh, archery mule deer in New Mexico. Um, it was a hell of a day. We were on a really big group earlier today. Um, and then we are headed back to our camp spot and I was going to actually start kind of tuning my bow and just doing some practice shots and Cody was about 100 yards away from me putting up the target and uh, we ended up seeing this buck. We got in the truck, got my, uh, got my bow, got, got my hat on and, and headed out after this one um, and I shot him at 50 yards. Um, I think just a really good, phenomenal uh, experience. We worked our asses off. The first weekend and, and today really uh, this is the fourth day or Cody's third day hunting and, and my fifth day hunting so um, couldn't have asked for it to be any better uh, there's a lot of ups and downs today um, and God has a plan and there you go